Hello Capricorns! What's up guys? Welcome to my channel. Tarot by the Intuitive Teacup, coming to you from outside because it's a beautiful day. I am here in New England. It is fall and it feels like summer. I've always wanted to do tarot readings outside and just kind of be in nature. It just feels more magical and so we're dealing with a little background noise. We got a little wind. We occasionally have bugs and birds and hopefully no more leaf blowers. Cancer got the fun, the fun reading with the leaf blower in the background. But anyway, Bonus readings, guys. Welcome. Happy to have you. Uh, these are going to be regarding love, romance, relationships. You can always choose to view it through um, business partnership lens, but I'm reading for love. So welcoming everyone to come into this reading with an open heart, with an open mind. Bring a positive vibe. If you don't got a positive vibe, this is not the channel for you. Um, but yeah, I hope lots and lots of this resonates with you. Pieces and parts of it very likely will. You are always in the driver's seat of your own life, Capricorn. So please do know that if something feels strange or foreign, you probably shouldn't take that message away. Um, feel free to shelve it. It may resonate for you at a later time or a later date, but ultimately I want you to take away messages that uh, resonate with you first and foremost, but also motivate you, inspire you, empower you, confirm what you were thinking or feeling already. Always trust your intuition above uh, a tarot reader or a tarot reading, okay? Um, yeah, those are my general rules, guys. Uh, everything else is down below for you, including the decks I'm using here today, as well as my social media channels. I am The Intuitive Teacup on Facebook, Instagram.com. Check all that out if you're interested. If you want to book a personal with me, um, just hit me in, uh, hit me up in my emails. Uh, we can always do personal readings that way and converse and see what you need. I'm happy to work with you uh, in, in that capacity. All right, um, let me get a few more shuffles in and we're going to hop in. I hope you Capricorns are doing well. Ultimately, I chose to do a few bonus readings outside because I had the day and the sunlight to work with. So the lucky winners were my cardinal signs. I did Libra, Cancer, and um, Capricorn. So Capricorn, you are third. Third time's the charm, baby. Um, I don't know if we're going to do Aries. <laughs> i got to be honest, Aries don't watch my channel, so that's why I typically do them last. Nobody, nobody watches my Aries readings, but so if you have any Aries friends and you like my energy, please tell them about my channel. I think Aries and Taurus have the least amount of views, so a hey, potato, potato. No bonus readings for them. All right. <laughs> Here we go. Um, I just got a couple new decks, and ultimately, that's sort of why I'm doing these bonus readings. I was just inspired to use them. So this is True Heart Intuitive Tarot from the author Rachel True. She was one of the leading ladies in the craft. Uh, I don't know if you guys are familiar with that movie. Uh, but yeah, she's she's kind of like a natural intuitive witch, and she, uh, she released her own tarot deck. And very excited. Very cool deck. So I promise we are going to hop in. I know I'm chatty. The curse of Mercury and Gemini. What can I say? <laughs> Here we go. All right, Capricorn, you got a lot of cards coming up. All right, so let's look at this. Ace of Swords. What are you communicating? Who do you need to communicate this to? And what are your thoughts? Are they positive? Are they negative? You're being asked to think about that mercurial energy, which I just so happened to mention. What are you speaking? What is your inner truth? What is, what is the vibe you're giving off with your words, with your thoughts, and also with your intentions, with your inner truth? So uh, this, this is probably saying communication is either coming out or coming in. Um, sometimes swords can end up being severing off what isn't serving us, but also this is a card of empowerment and typically it's a card of victory. Aces are very positive, so there could be new communications coming in about your love life. Ooh, from a soulmate who is a Scorpio. Anybody dealing with Scorpios out there? Or again, because it is the death card, it could be putting an end to something because you've shed the skin, right? If we think of like the cocoon to the butterfly, we've outgrown the environment or the space, so we're transitioning into the new. A lot of you are transitioning into something deeper, right? More emotionally, um, in, like there's more emotional importance or authenticity in a relationship. And it's almost like you guys are going to transition through the years with each other. Soulmate energy, there are two cards of Scorpio here, so just putting it out there. Or this could be a timestamp of Scorpio season if you are looking to mingle if you're single and ready to mingle i hate that i just said that but if that's the case hop on the dating app soon this is scorpio season it's saying there's positive or there's a positive vibration or a victory in scorpio season in at least making connections it doesn't have to be solidifying engagements or this and that but yeah th these are very positive cards even the death card in this scenario um yes it's a card of scorpio but because it's the correct season it's showing up in i love that it's showing up this is great and six of cups is um 
a a connection. Uh, it's like a sometimes it's very innocent. It's frequently shown with children, but it's like a soulmate. Um, this it wouldn't be that ex that you're like shoulda coulda woulda like what what a jerk. This like it's not that. This is like oh wow, this is beautiful. This is amazing. There's a there's a compatibility. There's harmony. This is someone I will always love whether they're with me or not. So sometimes this does denote something from the past is coming back again, especially with your Scorpio. Could also be with an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Let's let's see where this is going. Let's hop into your actual reading here but bottom of the deck looks hot it looks real hot so Capricorn your person king of cups so possibly a water sign is wanting to move forward or go on some sort of adventure this is also saying someone who's already in your circle of friends or a network uh, particularly a water sign but it doesn't have to be someone who's ready to make love offers someone who's very mature and looking for authentic true um, romantic love, passion or whatever, um, they're curious about you. The Page of Wands says they're not brand new, but they're wanting to move forward. And it's like, what is the vibe of Capricorn? Like I, there's, there's intrigue. This person who, again, they pack a lot of heat in the love offers they're, they're dishing out or willing to dish out. They're not necessarily doing it yet. It, it's that they're, they're warming up to the idea or they're trying to get to know you first. There's intrigue. Again, a, a very indicative card of Scorpio for me as a reader. Could also be a fire sign. I don't know if that's really what's coming through but this says there's communication there's small bits of communication but they're very warm they're very um they're very kind yeah um compliments that kind of thing flirtations with the, with the page of wands flirtations in fact some of you may have three people that are kind of in your network flirting with you so in their heart it feels like there's something hold on in fact i want to throw a clarifier on this i'm hearing cold hearted though so what's that about capricorn is that is that the vibe you're giving off are you showing them a certain amount of coldness some of them are grieving from the loss of a parent uh, like a mother particularly um or they have a very okay and i never predict death on my channel you guys know that by now but there could be if it's not a the death of a parent like the longing and the coldness of they don't feel the warmth there this person has a very tricky relationship with their mother whether they're male or female and it does impact their ability to love it's almost like childhood scars or childhood baggage of not getting enough love and warmth they don't always necessarily view love and relationships from that point of view um water signs particularly cancer and pisces are coming through there This person may also see you as the future mother of their children. And something about the pearls. Uh, pearl is very indicative of, of Cancerians, but also like uh, jewelry. Again, something with the mother or something about pearls. So I don't know if you guys, I don't know what that is. I mean, it's probably someone's piece of jewelry, but it's very significant. So maybe it was something that was passed down from a, a parent or something like that. Pearls. Yeah, this person is very by the book. All right, I can already kind of see where this is headed. Um, Capricorn, I've said this to you before, and I'm going to say it again. Don't shoot the messenger, okay? This, this is a harsh message, but I do think it needs to be heard. So allow it to be heard. If it's not your message, push it aside. But who in this relationship is viewing love as a business transaction? It's like I need it in my life because it, it's the proper next step. But, it, but are you looking at it for the right reasons? And that may be a message for your person too, but someone is viewing love from a very cold place. That's not typically what I would say about the high priestess. She is sometimes the secret keeper, but it's almost like is someone disguising a whole bunch of warmth and passion under a very cold exterior to the point where your person may be confused about where you stand with them or if, or if this is brand new, are you really interested in them? They're getting like, I don't even think hot and cold vibes. They're getting cold vibes, but they're very warm and, and compassionate towards you. Give me one more on this, please. I'm going to keep that there. On this high priestess. Yeah, there's assessment. Somebody here is not certain. It could be a Cancer or a Taurus. The assessment. How do I actually feel? The ground is frozen, right? So not a good time for pregnancy or fertility is sort of what I'm getting there. Especially if you've been doing the work, if you've been laying the groundwork, laying the seeds. Fertility is not happening right now. And, and that is important too because this can be a card of uh, maternal type energy. So if some of you are struggling with pregnancy or, or thinking about it, you know, you are in the driver's seat of your life, but it's almost like the universe is advising hold. Because there may be a reason why, you know, maybe you have a job offer coming and that would kind of, I don't know. There's delay in pregnancy here. I absolutely see that. 
But if the King of Cups is looking for the Queen of Cups, they are here already. There could be, yeah, arguments about children coming between you guys or a difficult scenario, uh, especially for people who are already in long-term commitments and they have a child going off to college. Or it's almost, I'm getting a metaphor of suffocating the child because you love them so much you're clinging to them, but it's time for, they need some freedom. Uh, they, they need some fresh air, especially if it has to do with sending them off to college or something of the sort, Capricorn. Allow this children to discover their own life. Allow this child to go off and and learn, even if it's almost like you want to spare them the hardship or the difficult lessons you you went through. Um, you know, you want to save them the hassle. It's saying you can't. This is their journey and they're meant to go off and live their own life. And through those difficult struggles, they will learn something very powerful and impactful that will set them off on the right path. There's a very beautiful thing of wanting to, uh, sorry for the noises. There's a very beautiful message here of wanting to spare someone the hardship or the difficulty that you went through. It's saying you can't. As much as you want to, and it does come from a good place, this person is meant to go off and do their own thing and learn the lessons the same way you did. It will be more impactful and profound for this person to learn those lessons authentically, doing it themselves. There is love here between water and fire. So Capricorn, if you strongly resonate with one of those signs, especially with a Leo too. Uh, so, okay, there's a Leo wanting to make very, there's a Leo wanting to make an apology or a Leo wanting to ask you out on a date, some sort of small offer. Probably not brand new, but even if it's new romantically, it could be a friend you have and they finally move forward to ask you out. This is all over the place, Capricorn. <clears throat> Libra and Cancers, their message were very distinct. I could instantly see the storyline here. This one is a little bit more complicated. So um, if that makes sense to anyone out there, if life is complicated, if you're uncertain right now, I, I'm uncertain about your cards as well. Um, hold on. <clears throat> okay, so bottom line, whoever is showing up in your spread, and FYI, this might be multiple people because there's a lot of people coming through. Uh, this person thinks very fondly of you. They communicate very warm and affectionate things to you, but they're not certain it's being met with, with openness. If anything, it's being met with not so much hostility, though for some of you that's the case, especially if someone's trying to apologize to you and you're playing hard to get. It's like, it's like a mind fuck. Um, for others of you, this person thinks very warm thoughts about you and they want to flirt, but every time they reach out, they feel like it's being met with like icy cold vibes shivering type vibes this person is not budging um or or blocking them the silent woman the secret keeper it could be that you've blocked them and you're no longer communicating with them because you're trying to decide where you stand with them you do have two people communicating with you so again this might not all be romantic but you have a water sign that's communicating and flirting very warm kind things to you and then i think you have a fire sign especially a leo who's wanting to apologize or again possibly ask you out for the first time who's been like a friend um this could also be someone who either they just can't take the hint or they are especially a cancer who it's like they're holding on to you with their little crabby pincers even though they, they know it's not for the best it's like they refuse to see the truth that capricorn has gone cold on them so then let's look at your energy because I don't, I don't know what to do with that capricorn i'm going to be honest the empress is where your headspace is at so you are finding uh reasons to be thankful you are uh finding reasons to be patient waiting for the crops to spring up organically when it's like when mother nature decides it's time um especially that metaphor of pregnancy i promise i'm not trying to make you all pregnant but yeah if something isn't taking right now patience something about the timeline might not be right others of you you're just you're you're valuing yourself you're choosing to put yourself before others especially romantic partnership because you you're on your way to a soulmate and mentally you already know that you're you're making strides every day even though it's moving possibly very slowly it seems like you're comfortable with this pace or you found a reason to again to be grateful because you are making strides about moving ahead in the direction of a soulmate six of cups I'm not sure if it's the person showing up in your spread, but universe is wanting you to see that for a reason. Yeah, and again, in your heart, you know it's time to be patient. You have two cards indicating 
it's coming in, but it's not coming in right now. And I think there are some days where you're very frustrated by the delay. And there's other, some of you are fighting with your partner. I keep getting kind of very moody energy where again, somebody says something maybe blunt or immature and you completely ice them out or freeze them out. And then they come back to make an apology, but you may be playing hard to get or, or fighting in a more venomous way. Just watch that Capricorn. And I have to be honest, I might be dealing with some Capricorns who are kind of struggling right now, who are a little bit low vibe. So if you're watching this, like I'm in love and life is good, this probably isn't your message guys. So in a way be thankful because there is a lot of, there's a lot of clutter in, in this. It's like we, we need to declutter our headspace. Um, we're fighting to get ahead, but who is, who is the victim in your path forward? Who are you casting aside or pushing aside? Who actually really does have quite a lot of feelings and affection for you. It, it's just something about you guys are not on the same page, literally opposites, fire and water. There's something where when you try and come together, it doesn't quite stick the landing yet, or it's just confirming the people who you've been entertaining in your love life they're just not the one. If you're feeling lackluster, then that's a sign. Maybe it's time to abandon ship and find something else. Maybe it's time to move forward knowing that your soulmate is out there, but it might not be with the one that, that is currently in, in your network right now. So in your heart, Capricorn, a lot of you, though, are thinking fondly or romantically about someone who there is a lot of chaos with. One foot in, one foot out. You might be waiting on someone who truly hasn't decided what they want for themselves, especially in Aries. Give me one on that, please. Or a Leo. <clears throat> I heard stop playing hard to get. Y yeah, you have two signs. Okay, this is very this is very symbolic. If you are this person, male or female, in the red cloak, you have two people swarming around you trying to get your attention. Again, right here in the cards. That's absolutely what this is. But the one perched on your shoulder, the one you're waiting for, that's what's coming up in your heart. So you have two people interested in you, but you're waiting, three of wands, waiting for your ships to come in. You're waiting for the one who you've reserved a spot on your shoulder. The loyalty, the companion, it's like the idea of a bird flocking to you. It's like you've held a place for them even though there's something about this person needs freedom to, to come and go as they wish. I'm sorry for the noise. Yeah, that's important. I just, I kind of saw a sign from one of my guides. That's important. There's someone who you have in your head an established victory with, but the ships haven't come in for longevity yet. This person may, may fear commitment or this person may have to tie up loose ends in some other aspect of their life, especially with their mother. This person may be uh, tending to the needs of an ill mother or a mother who, it's like they may have childhood wounds and even if it doesn't physically involve the mother, it's like they're trying to, to wrap their head around how that's impacting their love life. <clears throat> so here you are. In the overall outcome, a lot of my Capricorns, things are shifting, but it's shifting slowly where you're getting impatient. This is about getting out of bed in the morning and living your best life despite your romantic partnerships, despite who is coming in and out of your life. You're showing up, my queen of discs, Capricorn, but it does indicate independence. So right now, your, your lesson in romantic partnership right now is knowing your value and your worth and establishing your financial independence. Um, that's important. So great money cards. I think you'll be happy to hear that. Things are manifesting, but the ships have not come in yet. They, they just haven't come in yet. Um, for those looking for new love, Gemini and Virgo is looking good. And it's also saying focus on your manifestations. Saturn is here, which is your planet. So again, that, that does lead me to believe that, that there could be some obstacles in your love life in the month of November. It's not a death sentence. It's not saying forever. It's saying keep your vibe high. Keep manifesting. Earth signs. Earth signs are, are coming in. Earth signs are coming around. So if you've been waiting on a stubborn earth sign, though that could be you Capricorn, but there's another earth sign in your network, in your circle. Yeah, there's excellent cards for money. There's good fortune regarding your career. So, you know, Saturn energy is obstacles. It's the oppressor, it's the heavy, it's karma, it's lessons. So if you're really trying to push forward with something and it's just not working, it's saying put energy into what you can control and put faith and God in charge of the rest. The Wheel of Fortune is about destiny and divine timing. Something about this may involve a Taurus, a, a trickster Taurus. Some of you may have been fooled by a Taurus. 
And so new love and new contracts, there's decisions. Uh, possibly a male air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, possibly a Libra, or new engagements, bringing things to the next level with who? With, with Cancer. I cut the deck with Cancer. So there is forward movement in love contracts with Cancer, but again, it's not quite here yet. It's like you're waiting for your ships to arrive, but they're coming by car. That's a good metaphor. It happens in a way that you're not anticipating or expecting, but it doesn't mean the desired outcome won't stick the landing. You're asking to be patient. And again, to rid yourself of what isn't needed. Some of you need to communicate with, with the soulmate what you're actually thinking or feeling because it could be just waiting and waiting and waiting. It's not getting you the results you want. So advocate what you want. Be an advocate for yourself, especially with soulmate energy. Some of you are wanting to reach out, sorry, to someone from the past, but you're scared to do it. You're scared to, um, it's like the skeleton in the closet. For a lot of you, someone you loved in the past, their energy may still be around you and it's saying either cut it out or communicate what needs to be said with that person of the past so it isn't constantly being dragged into every romantic partnership. It's almost like self-sabotage. You go out with the idea of, I'm going to love a new person and I'm accepting love in my life, but really energetically you're still holding out for that person because you're hoping, you're hoping their ship comes in. Then you're not really looking for new love, are you? You have to send the universe very specific directions, instructions on how you want to proceed in love. It doesn't mean all those wishes will be honored, but when the universe knows what you want and the reasoning behind it, they can help you orchestrate it in a way where it works, right? Or send you the signal saying, I understand Capricorn, but no, that's not going to work and here's why. You can understand the reasoning behind it, the communications from the universe. But yeah, there, there's a very much like, I want new love, but I hope my soulmate comes back. And I get it, guys. That is the ultimate struggle in love. I think so many people go through that. But it's sort of saying to me, the universe is confused about what you want. And I'll be real, Capricorn. I'm confused about this spread, too. Like, flat out, I don't think that's indicative of my skill as a reader. There's just a lot of pieces and players in this right now. So have faith. The Wheel of Fortune and the Ace of Cups and a victory is coming in. But I'm telling you, if you're struggling right now, it's not coming in yet. So, in, in fact... What can I tell Capricorn if they are struggling? What is the best piece of advice or guidance I can give them right now? End something. End something that you've been breaking your back trying to accomplish or trying to win. Ten of, ten of swords, is it's almost like bowing down to the universe. Like, okay, I learned my lesson. That was not for me. Uh, it's okay to be humble. Humble pie, I'm hearing. Uh, you may have had the rug swept out from underneath you because some sort of ending that, again, you weren't wanting to acknowledge... An ending you weren't wanting to acknowledge with someone you viewed as a soulmate, it may have actually been a karmic. Some, someone you were meant to learn lessons from, but it doesn't mean it was the one you were getting, you know, uh, how do I want to phrase this? The wedding ring from? Best advice or guidance for a Capricorn? Know what battles are worth fighting for. Are you putting energy and effort into something where ultimately you know it, it's like a stalemate? That's what this feels like to me. Some, and I'm not saying this is every person you're dealing with. You may even have three people and one of them, it's like a closed door right now. This person is giving you nothing. It, the silent treatment, right? Being blocked. They're, they're just, they're, they're cold. They've gone cold on you. I would say there's a Leo offering you warmth. There could be a new Leo who's flirting with you or wanting to date you. There could also be a water sign that's wanting to go exploring with you. They're curious about you. They may ask you on a trip or ask you out on a date, but there's an adventurous spirit to this that I feel like maybe you Capricorn are like, mm. there's something about this you're not certain about. Um, Seven of Wands says it's going to take courage and energy and endurance. If you want it to be yours, you can push through these obstacles, but no, you're going to have to go to war for it. You're going to have to battle for it. So is it a battle worth fighting for? And that's up to you, especially with your cancer. Uh, again, card of victory and movement. It, it's about uh, balancing your dark and your light energy, which everybody has. Go into this with a very balanced a balanced energy, but a balanced mindset. Again, something about the, the favorable outcome. Be open to surprises. Be open to something turning out in a different way, but it doesn't mean you won't enjoy it. it it's still a victory. <clears throat> 
it has to do with the person from your past, judgment. Waking the dead. Again, something about the metaphor of the skeletons in the closet. What is it time to really clean out from your energy, from your karma, the, the emotional baggage you may be carrying around? It's time to go back and deal with it once and for all and bring it to conclusion. Bring some sense of closure or completion to what's been... It's like something you've been fighting for passively. It's time to go to battle. It's time to go to war for it. Go to the mattresses. <laughs> the sun. Again, Leo. Very positive cards regarding Leo. As well as growth. Spiritual growth and growth in your love life. All right, Capricorn. This has been a long reading because I have been confused as fuck. I don't know what this reading is saying. I hope it makes sense for someone out there. I can already feel the, the, the negative. I can already feel the dislike button being hit. Don't do that. Raise your vibe. Come on. All right, so there may be trust issues with a water sign. And that's sort of what I'm getting. I actually think this water sign, possibly a fire sign, they may be a little bit immature or there's something that really shakes you up. It's new and different, and I think it makes you a little bit uncomfortable. It's saying there may be trust issues there, but I have to be honest, uh, just the vibe I'm getting off the card, it's very positive. So maybe this is trying to get you to... Um, Lower your defenses and try something new. Um, step out of the comfort zone. That's what I'm getting with this. For some of you, right? <clears throat> All right. Then tell me about, again, really strong Leo vibes or, again, possibly a water sign. You have a lot of fire and water coming through. In the future, though, I see air and earth. So I think a lot of karmic or current situations for my Capricorns are dealing with fire and water. And the story doesn't have to end there, right? You can rewrite the story. If you're unhappy with something, you know, cut it out and move on. So yeah, keep an open mind about this Leo, especially the Leo making an apology. Your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectations. That's really what this message is too. There's someone who's very adventurous. They like to mix things up. They like to shake things up. And there's a part of you, Capricorn, that makes you a little bit uncomfortable. But there's also a huge part of it that could be very fun, very intriguing about this offer. All right, and then the Taurus or the Libra, possible soulmate energy, and yeah, the honeymoon. Enjoy the bliss of holiday time together. The one who treats you like the Empress or vice versa, the one you see growth and longevity with, the one you see as the future parent of your children or possibly already are, there's there's rekindling of love if it again if, if it's gone a little bit cold there's the potential for this to be uh revived but you have to put in the effort uh you you may have gotten a little bit lazy with it uh rekindle joy and romance and then possibly gemini virgo a lot of virgo energy possibly another capricorn or libra let go of control issues allow the situation to unfold naturally and then you do have the chariot twice so you may be dealing with multiple cancers especially one from the past Someone that you still may be holding on to or, or, again, waiting for the ships to come in. Tell me about that. Give me a few on that, please. Separation. Time apart from your partner is on the horizon. For some of you, it's already here. The one that you're waiting on. <clears throat> Sorry for the noise. <clears throat> annoying. It's annoying. And then soulmate. Yes, this is your soulmate. So you... <laughs> That's what I mean. You got two cancers, so this might not be the same message for each one. There's, there's different. You may be severing off from one cancer and going towards another, or it could indicate absence makes the heart grow fonder. By separating for a bit, you may realize, oh, this is my person. I really do love them. So, all right, Oracle cards, and we're going to wrap her on up. Capricorn, this one was confusing, but I really do hope it helps someone out there. I was telling my, my Capricorn friend, actually, that a lot of times I feel like Capricorn and Sagittarius get so many cross watchers. Sometimes it's like the cross watcher energy starts interfering with the spread. And I'm like, am I really reading for Capricorn or, or am I reading for all the cancers spying on Capricorn? Like that type of energy. So take it with a grain of salt. And I, I say always feel free to reverse the roles. Uh, frequently that works, uh, especially if, if you're a sign that gets a lot of cross watchers and flat out Capricorn is. You guys get a lot of cross watchers. It might be the, the cross watcher energy that's sort of interfering with the spread because that's the vibe I'm getting from this. There's, there's a lot of people kind of inserting themselves in this who maybe don't belong. Just putting it out there. Dragons, slay them all. I love this. This is the exact message. It's like, go to war. Fight for who you see value in. If, if you feel like it's a battle worth fighting. Some of you, it's like you're tapped out and you keep showing up because it's almost like you see it as your duty or your responsibility. Saturn energy. Is it though? Do you actually see a future with this person? And if some of you are like, yes, I do, then go to war for it. Fight for it. Make it yours. 
look at all the things you've already accomplished in your life. This ain't nothing. You know, it's going to take some willpower. It's going to take some courage and some energy, but you can make it yours if you want to be, especially with the Gemini, the lover, you know, number six. One more. Oh, these two are popping out. Expectations. Don't seek anyone's approval. And then potion. Remember to practice self-love, you basic witch. How cool are, is this deck? I just got it and I am in love with it. I think the messages are great. I love the illustrations and the depiction. It's body positive, which I just fucking love. I think it's so great. Anyway, those cards are cool. All right. Uh, one more. One more. I just got this deck too and it's a lot of like words. Um... And then I'm going to read the, it's, it's like they have a little booklet you can read alongside of it. So. Are there any Capricorns still out there? Did I lose you all? Anyway, whatever. It's good practice. I'm using my new decks and getting oriented and acquainted with them. So There's a victory with a Scorpio. I keep seeing that. <clears throat> oh no, these do not want to shuffle. What the deal? What up with that? All right, here we go. Capricorn. One more. One more card. Hasta la vista, baby. <laughs> Magic carpet and superhero. <clears throat> so I'm, I'm going to read probably one. I don't think I'm going to read all three, but I'm going to show you. This is a message for one of you out there. Magic carpet ride. Is that Steppenwolf? I love that band. All right, where's my, where's my deck? Here it is. All right, let's read Hasta la vista, baby. Arnold Schwarzenegger, the Terminator. What are you terminating? Who are you bringing the sword down on? What are you ending? Again, what are you removing from your life that doesn't belong there anymore? All right, anyway. Hasta la vista, baby. Remember the song Queen Elsa sings in the Disney movie Frozen when she unleashes her magic? Well, if you didn't catch that animated flick, it's time to let it go. Walk away just like you never looked back. I'm sorry. Walk away and just like you never look back at the trash can you leave at the curb, don't give it a second glance. It's time for new beginnings, out with the old and in with the new. And I'm just going to be real with you guys. It's got the uh, 52 that breaks it down to a seven. And that is the number of the chariot. So again, a lot of karmics. And that makes sense. It's your divine pairing. It's your opposite on the zodiac wheel. It doesn't mean there could be a soulmate vibe here. Capricorns in general will have a lot of relationships with cancers that are karmic because you guys are opposites that attract and there's something valuable to be learned and gained from experiences with a cancer. Okay? All right, I'm going to be suckered into it. Magic carpet ride. 42. Go ahead, open it. It's your invitation for a personal magic carpet ride to anywhere you want to go. Uh, you don't even need to send an RSV RSVP. Jump aboard, my friend. You are on your way to enchantment and miracles. You have a lot of Disney-type stuff coming up. Elsa from Frozen, and that, that makes me think of Aladdin. The magic carpet ride, a whole new world. All right, last one, superhero. 31. 31. Three and one make a four. Four is Aries, as well as uh, zodiac sign four is Cancer. <laughs> you got a lot of Cancer. And then this is Gemini. Four and two, six. The sixth house is also Virgo. Uh, anyway. Superhero, right now you've got superhuman strength. The truth is you always do, but most of the time you don't need it. Why bother? Everything's rocking along just fine. You are about to learn just how cool, how strong, how amazing you really are. This feels like superhero vibes to me. This feels like superhero vibes to me. All right, Capricorn. That's what I got for you. Gosh, this one was crazy, wasn't it? Anyway, I hope it helps someone out there. I have faith it's going out to someone who needs to hear it. Hasta la vista. That's my cue to leave. I'll see you guys next time for more tarot. Bye, Capricorn.